four, gentlemen. Professional welterweight matchup, and it is a matchup. Whoever the Pro Series matchmaker is, wonder did, who that, wonder yeah, who that is. They outdid themselves on this one. <laughs> He's a good, good dude, from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kalikas, our hats off to you on not only this one, but the entire year coming to a, uh, a head here, Night of Champions. I mean, well done. I appreciate it, guys, and hopefully the fans tuning in for the first time or uh, that have been hearing about the NAAFS, you guys get a chance to see what, what we're all about here tonight. Seguin takes it down. Forrest works his way back up. Forrest showing a little cut there above the eye. Things slowing down a little bit. Nice jab by Brennan. Another one. He's buying in his zone. Yeah, he is. Seguin's getting more and more comfortable here as this fight's uh, progressing. Earlier you saw Forrest pushing off one to bang, now it's Seguin. I don't remember this fight hitting the ground yet, do you? Now uh, Seguin took it down for a second, Forrest got right up, man, big right by Forrest, and uh, something like wobbling just a little bit. It was a big, big right hand. You can tell the skill level of these guys, I mean, both these jabs, same time, same place, spot on. Let's take it down, Forrest shrugs it off. I think Sigwin's doing a smart thing. When he's going for a shot, if he knows he's not gonna get it right away, don't gas yourself trying like heck to get it. And in the, in the process, yeah, you're, you're exhausted. Just give it up, let's keep banging. That's well put, and that's a sign of a veteran. He's not gonna waste the gas that a lot of these novice fighters will waste trying to get it when they really don't have it. Seguin looking more confident in this round, and a big right in on Forrest. Very nice exchange by Seguin. Forrest comes back with a body shot. Yeah, I mean, Seguin is looking more confident here in the fourth. He's almost stalking Forrest. That's something you never see. Nice, oh, another combination by Seguin. Both of them hit home. Seguin's still looking for that takedown, but not any success yet with it. Although he is, as Pets counters back, I mean, Seguin, as we mentioned, is getting more and more uh, comfortable up there with his strikes, figuring out that timing. Nice rights by Seguin. I'll tell you, both these guys have been rocked a little bit, man. Both of them got big, big, heavy chins. that might have been blocked. Oh, big, big, flurry. Both these guys connecting in the latter part of this fourth. Yeah, Both these guys can smell it. Leather is flying, man.
tell you what, gentlemen. That, uh -oh. that may have that sealed could, the That round. could make a big difference right there. I was going to say, that may have stolen the round for him. That is a round stealer. We that was a very, very intelligent move on a part of Brendan Siegler. We may be looking at an even fight here. I was just going to say, you. I think you were about to say, how do you have the round? You know, Siegler might have just stole that. Yep. It, it, judges sometimes are looking for a reason to give somebody a round. I'm not saying favoritism, but in such a tight no, fight. You're spot on when it's that close. They are, they're looking for something. And I'll tell you something that's going unsaid, and you very hear it, you very rarely hear it mentioned, but uh, the corner of Brendan Seguin has done an outstanding job in stopping that bleeding. Yes, he has. I mean, since th that was the very first punch of the fight, and it really has been yeah, a non-factor. Things, things look messy, it has been a non-factor, and uh, you, can you can attribute that to a very good corner. And we're gonna look at the takedown that we think may have, again, we're not judges by any stretch, but certainly scoring points there for Brendan Sieglin.